Hello! I'm super excited to start this course with you, but as always, before we do, we need to see where we're starting and where we're ending up so we have a clear path to succeeding. So let's see what this course will look like for you. We're first going to start off with creating our hacking lab. Now don't worry whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux, you're going to be able to follow because what we'll do is use something called a virtual machine to install Kali Linux, which is often used with ethical hacking onto our machine so that we can simulate and create our hacking environment. Don't worry, all the tools we're going to use is free and you're going to be able to set up your computer in a way to follow the rest of the course. And you're also going to have a professional setup. We're also going to cover some basics on hacking, some fundamentals and principles that's going to set us up for success later on in the course. Then we have an optional part. For those that really want to get into programming as well and possibly programming some of our projects later on in the course, we're gonna teach you Python from scratch or if you know Python already as a refresher so that you can also learn an extra pair of skill set for some harder projects that we have in the course. Then we get into the fun part. And the first step we're gonna dive into after we have our hacking lab and some of our programming skills sharp is reconnaissance. Here is where we learn what we call footprinting or in other words, information gathering. Once we choose our target, our first task is to gain as much information about the target as possible. We're gonna talk about IP addresses, about the who is tool, the what web stealth scan, finding usernames, building an email scraper tool, and other tools available to us to gather as much information as possible. From there, we go into scanning, and this is where things get real. In this section, we gather information on some of the technical information that we can acquire from a target. For example, if they have open ports, if they have a firewall, what software they're running on these ports and if they have any outdated operating systems. And don't worry, if you don't know what any of this means, we take you from scratch and you're going to learn it all. Here is where we learn about TCP UDP using the powerful Nmap tool, different types of scans that we can do, how to work with firewalls, using decoys and packet fragmentation. And we're also going to build a port scanner project in this section. From there, we go into vulnerability analysis. In this section, we use the information that we gathered from the previous sections. And with this information, we try to determine whether there is a known vulnerability that we can take advantage of. We're gonna use different sorts of tools to learn about our target system and where their weaknesses are. We're actually going to work on a Windows 7 machine that has a vulnerability and show how we can break into it and how we can use that to our advantage. Then, well, this is the exciting part. This is the big part of the course. This is where we attack and gain access to the target machines. And throughout this session, we'll be covering many different vulnerabilities and different targets. We perform different sorts of attacks on virtual machines and cover a very important tool of an ethical hacker. That is the Metasploit framework. The goal of exploitation is to get on a target machine. So this means we must drop a payload on that target machine so we can use it to navigate through their systems, look through their files, execute anything we want, even delete anything we want without the target knowing anything about it. We'll learn to create our own viruses and Trojans that we can deliver to the target, whether through an email or through a USB. This is a big section and we're gonna dive into the weeds, try out these techniques and learn how to defend against them. After that, we have what we call the post-exploitation. This, as the name suggests, is what we do after we exploit a target. Since we're on that machine, we can do many things depending on what we want to get out from it. At the end, after we do all the things we wanted by exploiting the target, we want to make sure we cover our tracks by deleting any event logs or deleting any evidence that we were ever on that machine. We're gonna learn lots of things here, such as creating persistence on a target machine, and even creating a backdoor in one of our projects. We then get into a very important part that a lot of you might find very, very interesting, and that is website penetration testing. This is a big topic for an ethical hacker, and in this section, we're mainly targeting websites and their bugs and vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities can be anything from misconfigurations, SQL injections, information disclosures, command ejections, 
cross-site scripting attacks. And we're also going to code our own and create our own project, a login brute force script and also a directory discovery tool. Again, in this section, you're gonna learn how to use these techniques and therefore defend against them on your own website or a client's website. Then we get into something that you have to know as an ethical hacker. It's the man in the middle attack. This is an attack that is used inside a network. And this allows us to sniff any unencrypted data and see it in plain text. So we could use this technique to see passwords for some websites. And we're gonna cover some of the main tools that hackers use when doing a man in the middle attack. We then have a bonus section on Wi-Fi and wireless cracking. This is the section where we want to gain access to a network by cracking its wireless password. And we're gonna talk about things like air crack, password cracking, and hashcat password cracking and show you how you might use this and how attackers might use this on your wireless network. Now, we got lots to cover, but I also wanna talk about the best part right here. Our online private community of over 300,000 students. We have people chatting here every day, helping each other out to finish the course, doing challenges together, and talking about the latest and greatest in technology. This is an optional resource for you to use so you can have back and forth conversation with other students and myself so you feel like you're part of a real classroom. But you know what? Enough talk. I know you're getting excited. I am too. So let's get started and let's learn ethical hacking.